Right, okay, forfeit time for Ethan. We said we was going to do this. Um, we, this was down to Ethan saying that I would not hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much, all the new subscribers. We have approximately about two and a half thousand right now, so this is pretty cool. Ethan, being a man of his word, the deal was that he would do a fitness video wearing a uh, lycra and a ginger wig. So I went out, you probably saw the other day, I bought a ginger wig, which he's going to be wearing. Uh, he's also going to be sporting the new SGUT MX t-shirt in a very nice colour that is appropriate uh, and he's also sporting the Lycra. So anyway, let's go. Take it away, Ethan. So there we have it, the boy did good. He did what he said he was gonna do, so I've gotta give him 10 out of 10 for that. So fair play, Ethan, uh, well done for doing that, mate. Let's see what the dare could be if I get three and a half thousand. So come on in, guys and girls, try and think of something that we can get Ethan to do. Let's really make this fun. Tell us, why have you got your hair like that? What's, what, what, what's, what's, what's going on today? Because I'm gonna get curly hair, and we're pretending that <laughs> We're going to be olden day people. Olden day people, so you've had your hair in, what What, what, are, the, what are those things called in Curlers. you? Curlers. Curlers all night? Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm going to have my hair down. Okay, Mum's going to send us a picture of what you look like when you're dressed up, okay? Right. Well, make sure you give us a big smile. It's not easy. Oh, no. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. What's that noise? I can hear somebody. Who is it? It's not Smokey, he's down there. Oh my god, who's eating all my food? Who are you? Brothers and Clouseau. Stop! You thief! Stop stealing my food! So hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, I've got a real cool day today actually. I've got a weigh and measure with my man Jason Gargan. He's been going through quite an intense process with his diet and his training with me as of late. So I'm really interested to see where he, he's ended up now after this um, sort of like three, four month journey that we've kind of been on. Also we've got quite a lot going on with the shoots today. This so the Ben Marks doing his shoots down here today. So we've got um, Kai Woodman, you saw him on the previous vlog, you know, sort of give him uh, giving you a very honest approach as to uh, his feel about bodybuilding um, and the downsides of it I guess. Um, we've also got the female sort of uh, representative of the underground gym as well, Miss Emma Howie. She's got the British coming up very, very shortly. She got third over in uh, Europe, Barcelona recently as well in the Arnold so we're going to see how she is and hopefully we'll get a shot of her as well doing her thing with Ben Mark. Um, then I've got Danny, Danny Ives is in as well so I'm going to put him through a functional sort of circuit utilising a kettlebell. This is something that you can do at home if you've got a kettlebell. That is um, just literally uh, a bit of back workout utilising the kettlebell as well as his body weight so we'll, we'll put that together in a little sequence and uh, hopefully you can do another six minute challenge with Danny anyway let's go and see what these guys and girls are doing in our gym dressed with virtually nothing on alright it's a tough day here in the underground gym let's check this out So, Miss Emma Howie, here she is. Last time we saw Emma, well, it must have been what? Well, it must have been about a couple of months ago on the treadmill. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, it was a heavy lift. Vlog a second ago, you just came back from Barcelona, yeah. where we got third, yeah. which is mega. Um, what's going on this week? Fish finals. He gave me a head fish finals. Okay, and and, and how, how are you sort of feeling? We're going to get on with that. Pretty good. That's yeah. The same way I was this time last year. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, so I've got a lot of energy. Yeah, you look like you've got it. 
And Sam, obviously Sam, uh, Sam Bird's uh, her partner in crime. He's also the man that sort of helped sculpt this body. Um, he's he's also just gone undergone his bodybuilding yeah, sort of journey. He's a bodybuilder now. Amazing, that's yeah. absolutely amazing stuff. So listen, we're going to wish Emma all the best. She looks amazing. She represents Underground Gym. All right, we're very proud of her, and we're going to let her and Ben Mark. Hello again. Man, get back on with this stuff. Man's always getting in Have a great shots. day. <laughs> there we go. Rock say and all. Rock say and all. So, right, I'm here with my business partner, most of you know, Mr. Alan McGuinness. We're literally just in the middle of a right deep, uh, deeply discussion there about Alan's just decided to sort of take this uh, dietary approach. And I'm going to let you tell, him, tell you a little bit about what he's doing. Come on, Alan, tell him. So I've just started doing intermittent fasting, 16 hours fast, 8 hours uh, eat, I suppose, feed. So I stop eating at 7 p.m. in the evening uh, and then start eating again at 11 a.m. in the morning. So you go through 16 hours, have a workout uh, about 10 o'clock if you can, and then your first big feed is after that workout. And you try and squeeze your daily amount of calories into that. Uh, six hour window, sorry, eight hour window. And you just said, you, you said you really like this. What, what do you like about this? Um, I like the clarity of it. I don't, I'm not somebody who kind of works with fuzzy lines. I like, I like regimented stuff. I like being told yes and no. So to be able to say at 7 p.m., right, that's it. The line is drawn, nothing else after that. So no more, you know, no more beer, no more chocolate. <laughs> no more food to have that line it's not like oh I might be able to have a bit of something here that it, it kicks out all that sort of eating late at night which I use well so like. the flexible dieting approach uh, where if it fits your macros kind of thing you, you've, you've, you've done that in the past and you kind of struggled a little bit with I that didn't know, you? I just, I just I veer off the path too much it's not yeah. it's just not the right fit for me I just so, I find it hard to stay in a framework that framework I prefer something a lot more structured and for me this is a lot more more structured and at the end of the day stop eating at seven you have a big meal at half six you feel full going to bed you wake up at whatever six seven o'clock um, and really it's only for the last hour you start feeling hungry it's only ten o'clock I start feeling hungry but by that time you're working out and you've forgotten about it because you're sweating there you go ladies and gentlemen try this one out intermittent fasting 16 and 8 uh, Alan McGuinness it works for him you know look up try it out